Welcome back to Super Mega Baseball 3. In this episode, we're going to be starting Season 4 versus the Platypie. So we're going to get into this game, but right before we do, we have our first upgrade of the season. Raylan McGriddle is going to be getting plus 2 or plus 7 power in this upgrade, so let's see what she gets. She's going to get plus 2 power and plus 1 contact with that upgrade. So yeah, 83 power, 36 contact now for Raylan McGriddle. Good stuff. Bullpen session. Cannon Cherry's 21. Let's get him this upgrade, too. Why not? He doesn't lose anything. Let's get him that. Plus two velocity and plus one junk for Cannon Cherry. Anyone else? No? All right. So that's good. I'm happy with that. So yeah, let's get into this game. I think, yeah, so Gage Hurst is actually going to be starting for us at third base this game because Flash Leather is pretty rattled right now. And if you look at the ratings, they're pretty similar and he can play third base. So I'm just going to go ahead and give him the start since Flash Leather is not feeling it mojo wise. Alright, so the Nemes Nemesis are now a technically a balanced team. So, definitely a complete change from well, the beginning of the first season when they were all power, no contact. Three balls to start things off. And I swing at a pitch I shouldn't have. Nothing's changed. Jock Sports. It's been about five days since I played this game, so if I'm a little rusty, I'm going to blame that. I'm blaming that on the rust, of course. That's gone, though. 97 power absolutely crushed. We're playing on the same sliders as the championship game where I bumped him up to 74. If Once again, if things continue to be out of hand, I'm going to bump him up again. But same sliders that... They scored nine runs on us last time. 92 power. That one is slapped. And I think it will be caught. Yes, at the track. Cat stanza now. Two balls, zero strikes. Oh, and that's a rough swing right there. Cat Stanza will be unable to leg it out. That'll be three outs. Nemesis going to the bottom of the first. Up one nothing. Ansel Caruse getting his first pitches in here. That's a little bit of a miss. And that should be a single there. And it will be a single for the Platypi to start things off with zero outs. I expect these guys to score a little bit more than they did last season. I feel like, I think I mentioned this last time I bumped up the difficulty, but I think there is a threshold in this game, and like above 70 is a threshold. Probably could have got the double there, but I, I couldn't remember if that guy was fast, so. Going with this. RBI dud, that's helpful. That's a strike. We like that. 87 power. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Two outs, though. Good catch there by Gage Hurst. This guy has great power. All right, so we're not giving him anything good. Give him a, give him a curveball. Wow, an absolute hack. Another two-seamer. And that is a fair ball. And Ansel Cruz gets there to make the catch. Really McGriddle with her first at bat. Terrible swing. Terrible swing. Swinging at stuff that's to the left of the plate. Yeah, okay. Two on top of that one. That'll be out number one. Javi Yater. Still has RBI dud. It looks like he's regressed a little bit power-wise. He has more contact than power now. I thought he was a little bit better in the power area. Well, power seems to be okay, because that one is crushed. That's another solo home run. 
Javi Yader now getting his first home run of the season, 462 feet. Yeah, I like to see it. Stacy Staples. Yeah, well, I, I think some of these people have lost some power, so we might have to contact swing a little bit more with these guys. Age Hurst, the rookie. 96 power, though, but that is chopped up. And that'll be an easy out number two. Ansel Caruso. They call, man, um, that's not a strike. Hack. An absolute hack. I thought that would be a strike. Alright, and that'll be out number three. Bottom of the second, up two to nothing. And that'll be a single going right by Ansel there. See any uh, changes here? No. Strike, good strike. Two strikes, give him the curve as always. Got him swinging, out number one. That's a K. Start him up with a fastball, then give him the change up. That's popped up. Javi Yader there. Out number two. Runner still on first. Let's start off with the curve this time. That is slapped. And Jackie Slam makes the catch. Out number three. Still 2 0 Nemesis for the defending champs. Two balls. That one felt a little bit higher than the other ones, but still a little low. Plate discipline still lacking. Bad timing. Caught swinging. Jackie Slam is out. Jock Sports is going to get on base here with a single. I really need to be more patient, but every time it's just like, I can get to these pitches. That's what gets me. Ryan Pickleford. Ooh, that was a good pitch. It's off. Pitch 39 now. Let's see when he's going to get subbed out. Nope. He's not going anywhere. Oh my god. That was the pitch. I just I took my finger off the button because I wanted to steal a chalk. Oh, that was unfortunate. Runners on first and second now for Cat Stanza. Swinging late on both of those good pitches. That is crushed. That looks like it's a three-run shot if it stays fair, and no! Just can't stay fair. And the bases are loaded for Raylan McGriddle. Still looking for her first hit. Just gotta stay patient here. Three balls, zero strikes. And that will be a run. They get the runner at second, but not at first. Raylan's able to leg it out there. It was right to the second baseman. That error really helped us out there. Two balls. I 
think we're going to run. And they're right. Raylan McGriddle runs, and she's safe at second. And that is not caught. That is not caught, so that'll be a 2RBI single for Javi Yader, Mr. RBI Dud. Just goes off the glove of the center fielder, trying to save the runs there. Stacy Staples, that'll be another hit. Nemesis picking right back up where they left off last season. Pitcher's a, pitcher's a little tense now. That's a big hit, and it looks like it will be caught by this center fielder. Three runs in the top of the third for the Nemesis, extending our lead to 5 nothing. Pitcher now on deck. Oh, that's a little bit of a miss. That'll be chipped up. Cat Stanza. Looks like she can get there. Out number one. Back to the top of the order now for the Platypi. Foul's out of change up off. Another foul. Ninety seven mile an hour fastball is looked at. And that's Weekly hit right back to the pitcher. Two outs. Um, what other pitches we got? Two seamer sliders. Got the curve. I haven't used the curve in a while. Not looking at any of these. All right. Ansel Carus makes the catch, and that'll be three outs. And now Ansel Carus is on deck. Oh, wow. Did not expect that. Okay, if he looks... Ansel Carus gets on base with a single. Good stuff. Pitcher doing his job. Jackie Slam, though, is 0 for 2. Oh, reliable struggling. And that's 0 for 3. For all these people scoring. Except for our MVP for the past three seasons. Jock Sports is on fire, and he is ready to go. He wants another homer. I could have sent that. Just didn't have confidence. Three balls there. Pitcher is struggling. Should not have swung. And they're going to walk Jock Sports. That's the smart move. Don't let that guy hit it. Pitching change here. And will it stay fair? No. It will not. That'll be a foul. That's well hit, but doesn't have enough distance on it. Two outs for Zun Zun for since the second still. Cat Stanza. She's locked in. She's 0 for 1 so far on the game, too. That's the first strike there. There, three one. And they walk Cat Stanza. Raylan McGriddle with another opportunity now. Base is loaded. And that is hit straight to the third baseman. That lack of contact really struggling. They're really not helping us there. And 
that'll drop right in the gap there for a single. <clears throat> Sky Rodriguez, look at her power. Oh, a little bit too low. Okay. I thought that would be sent. I'm going to send more of these sliders. Yeah, it's like two seamers that move, and the sliders out of the way. Oh, no. That one is sent. That might be a run. Going around third now and going home. And that will be a RBI single there. Platypie get their first run of the game. Should have stuck to the sliders. Oh, the runner's on second. It was a double. I'm wrong. Thought she stopped at first. It's a strike. Ansel doing well stamina-wise. Holds the runner at second there, and we get the out at first. Oh. Kind of dropped that one in there. Stacy Staples. Makes the catch. Out number two. Aw, oh, stay fair. Come on. Absolute hack there at the plate. Swing in a miss. You're out of here. Give up one run in that inning. Still okay, though. Okay, so they turned it up on the velocity, though. I feel like maybe we've just been getting a lot of off-speed pitches, but I feel like they've been sending a lot slower pitches than that uh, first, than that last at bat there. Stacy Staples gets under one to right, and it is not enough. That'll be out number two. Gage Hurst looking for his first hit. And that'll be sent right to the shortstop. 96 power for the third out. Nemesis started off hot. Cooling down a little bit now, though. As we usually do. Ansel Caruse, one out. That's popped up to right. Javier should get under that. Nope, Jackie Slam's got that. Braylon McGriddle stretches out for that one, gets the third out. On to the sixth. Ansel Caruse. He had more hits than Jackie Slam. 75 power, though, and I think... A little bit better player sends that out the park. Jackie Slam, her first hit. That should be enough for a double. One out for Jock Sports, runner on second. Two for two and a walk. Oh, they call that a strike, man. That's tough. Full count now for Jock Sports. I should have swung. I got indecisive. Got indecisive. I That looked like it was going to be high, and then it dropped. Runner will advance to third. No, three outs. Javier unable to lay it out there. Unable to capitalize there. 
I usually, that's usually where we lose the, a lot of games. One out, Javier. Why am I still... Oh, man. Like, it's not switching to the right person, I feel like. Ansel Carus doing well, though, stamina-wise. The rate he's going out, he might be able to pitch up until, like, inning eight. And that'll be a single, well, two outs now. Person doesn't have very good power, so not too worried about it. Just trying to get her to ground something for us. Gage Hurst with a great snag at third there. Pat stands in now. Still looking for her first hit. Ah. And that is gone. Cat Stanza with her first hit of the season is a solo home run. 468 feet. I think Javier's was 462 and it looked like it was about to leave the park. So, questionable dimensions there in the stadium. Raylan McGurdo fouls that one off inside. Just bad contact here. Three balls, two strikes. And they walk Raylan. Another pitching change now. This guy's pretty good. I mean, he's tense and a little low on stamina, but his original ratings look good. Braley McGriddle is going to make it back to first there. Straight shot to the third baseman. Stacy Staples drop inside for me. And it will. That'll be good for a single for advancing Raylan to third. Gage Hurst. Can he get a hit here? That would be huge. Got a little too excited. I meant to check. And they called that a strike. Strikes out looking. Ansel Caruso, do we pull him here? I mean, he's good on stamina, but we can get another run here, maybe. I say we just leave it. I want to have him pitch for another inning or two. And that'll be an error. Advancing the runner to third. Raylan McGriddle scores from third. And Ansel is at first. Jackie Slam, all reliable. With another RBI now. That might be two. Rounding third, and he'll make it. Ansel Caruse makes it from first. Nine to one nemesis. Ow! You gotta fight him, man. You know, you know he meant that intentionally. We gotta fight this guy. Just because he has zero accuracy means. Doesn't mean anything. Look at this guy. All the velocity in the world. Can't hit the strike zone. Oh man, I should have swung at that. Man. I honestly didn't think he had it in him. I think we really gotta fight that pitcher though. I. I mean, the first pitch on a guy who's just absolutely on fire ratings-wise. And she's going to lay it out there for a single. Good for her. A little bit of a delay there when pitching out.
Two balls, two strikes. Oh, you gotta make a better throw than that. I was trying to get the leadoff runner there. That's unfortunate. I should have got the guy at first. Runner's on first and second now. There's definitely still time to score. That'll be a single. An RBI single. 9-2 Platypie. That girl is fast. Bringing in a pinch hitter now. Trying to keep the momentum going. That's popped up. Alright, getting our first out of the inning now. Runner on first and second still. Oh, that's a miss. Aviator, though. Oh, no! Unable to get there. We still get the leadoff out, so... A little bit of luck there. That was... That was rough. I thought we were under it. That's my fault. Is that Binky? Oh, okay. Beefcake McStevens. I thought they said Binky Stevens. It's like that. I thought he was still on our team. That being said, though, we haven't seen Haito Munchada, have we? Alright, and that's another single there. Base is loaded now for our Mr. RBI Dud here. our first strike. That's a good start. Diving grab. Can we get the throw? And we do. Saving the run. Shock Sports making the play. Cat Stanza is locked in. He's got an odd motion. So bringing on the closer here in the top of the eighth. Tough one. Just blowing these pitches by me, man. Timing is off in a contact swing. Wow. Terrible swing. That'll be two outs. That's a good pitch. That one just dropped right in the zone. And that'll be a quick three-out inning for us. That timing was rough. Ansel Kungaroos can go this whole game. She needs a couple more outs here. That one is hit up. It's hit up very high, but it's not hit up very far. So that'll be one out. That one just... Bides in the zone there. I like that. Aviator should be under this one. Out number two. Potapai trying to show signs of life. Down by seven in the bottom of the eighth. That's a single there. Still two outs though. Two strikes. We're going to anticipate the two seamers, so. Give them the curve, and they swing at it. Three outs. Stacy Staples. Trying to finish things off on offense. That one is sent deep to left, and I think it has enough. Stacy Staples, her first home run of the season. 10 to 2 nemesis. 402 feet. Alright, so I'm going to bump it up to 75 batting difficulty. Whew. Gage Hurst is a little tense now. He's 0 for 4, but I mean, his ratings are similar to Flash Leathers, so. Just a whiff. Complete whiff. Ansel is two for four. 
That's insane to me. Ansel, not enough contact on that, and that'll be two outs. Jackie Slam now. See if we can get some more home runs. Wow, that's, those are good pitches. That's chipped right over the pitcher for a single. Two outs now. Chalk Sports at the plate. Looking to finish things off here. He's two for three. Mmm, God, it's the timing. Just poor timing all around. One strike. Also anticipating that, but you're anticipating this. Okay. They're not anticipating that. Alright, fair enough. Swing and a miss. That'll be out number one. Two outs to go. What do you want? You want the curve? That's a good pinch hitter right there. That's fouled off. Two strikes. Give him another curve. Same spot. That's fouled off. Bang. Out number two. That's a little bit of a miss there. Oh, Cat Stanza makes a great snag. Nemesis win their first game of the season. Yeah, so overall, 14 hits to 9, 10 to 2, runs-wise. So, I'm going to do... Let's see. Ansel Caruso played the whole game. He played amazing. That was probably his best game that I've used him as, like, in the user game. So, nine innings played, nine hits allowed, two earned runs. So, Ansel Caruso played amazing. Stacy Staples somehow gets the MVP. I don't know how. She went four for five and had only had a solo home run at the end there after everybody scored. So, don't quite get it. I feel like the MVP should be Ansel. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the ego up here, 75, and then I'm going to be, what, what is this, I'm going to do 73 here, and then maybe 73. I think this is, like, fielding, and we already get a lot of errors, so I don't want to mess with that, so that's going to be the ego we're playing on. Let's see, next episode... So our next game is going to be versus the Moose, but I forgot to mention earlier in this episode, I'm going to be playing some of these uh, games that we normally simulate through. So like the B-Wolves or Buzzards, I might play one of those games and then just upload the, the quick little highlights there as, and tag them on at the end of one of these videos or at the beginning of one of the videos. It's just so you can guys can get a little bit of a sense of what's going on throughout the season. Is we play usually play a third of the game, so every we play one game and then skip two simulate two and then play the third one so you know just a little bit more content for you guys and it won't be commentated so should be more a little bit more quick and easy for me but anyway leave a like if you guys enjoyed peace